My name is Alexis. I'm 11 years old. Alexis, growing up, was a very uh, happy child, energetic, curious. When I was nine, I went to my pediatrician's office. She was checking up on my back and she's like, oh, that's a little weird. So then we ended up going to Dr. Wu. We got an x-ray and she had a very significant case of scoliosis to a point where really we knew that she probably would need some kind of surgery. I wasn't ready to have surgery. We weren't ready to have surgery. And I told Dr. Wu, I was like, no. But Dr. Wu was very patient. He was kind. He he, he came down to our level and said, look, I understand that you're scared and we will try everything we can do non-invasively to see if we can actually slow down this curvature. And that's when he suggested the brace. I did not like my brace, but I was like, you gotta wear it to pause the surgery. And then she came back six months later. She'd grown a lot. And because of that, even though she was wearing a brace, her curve did get worse. Now, because we could physically see that she was different and physically see that she was twisting and, and leaning to the side, when Alexis found out that she had to have surgery and we actually set a surgery date, Alexis felt that she needed a mental health day. I went crying on the floor. Doctor was a very good doctor. He will take care of me and I know he will, but what if? It was a lot to put on an 11-year-old. 7D surgical navigation is a new way to make it easier to do surgery. And it brings a new dimension of safety and speed uh, in making a difficult surgery faster. Navigation for surgery has been around for 15, 20 years or so, but it's required a lot of radiation. 7D is radiation free. There, there is no need to expose a child or the staff to radiation. For us, having a, the ability to be one of the first hospitals in the country to do this to children really does bring a lot to this community. Everything that he told us that she needed to do prior to the surgery, we hit every landmark. Post-op day one, she was out of bed to a chair. Then post-op day two, it was, okay, now we have to get you up and walking. I can't believe you're walking already. Seeing her take those first steps and seeing her walk with the physical therapist, I was just overwhelmed, overcome with, with, with joy. Alexis is going to have a great future. She is going to be able to play any sports that she wants to do. She'd be able to participate in any physical activities or hobbies. And people know that when the surgery is done well, these young children who have the surgery actually have very normal livelihoods. So at Advent Health for Children, we received excellent care. The nurses, the physical therapists, the physicians, the ICU team, everybody was very attentive to us. Dr. Wu is very kind, very gentle. You may seem intimidated, but no. When you actually meet him, it was like amazing. He really took the time, especially during our surgical consult. He stayed with us for an hour and a half until we felt comfortable about having surgery. I've never met any surgeon that has ever done that. Seeing my child in pain was agony for me, but knowing that it was only going to be temporary was what gave me solace. And trusting in God that I was in the right place at the right time to meet the right surgeon was what gave me peace.